on Showbiz Central at mga kapuso, it's time to look into the life of another celebrity. And this afternoon, ang ating special guest co-host naman na si Miss Jelly De Belen, ang babalikan natin ang kanyang story, ang, uh, the story of your life. <laughs> Para, para namang... <laughs> Handa ka na. <laughs> Handa na ako! Okay, alright. Una nating silipin ang sikreto sa likod ng success ngayon ni Jelly. Let's watch this. Versatility. Isa raw ito sa mga sikreto para magtagal ka sa industriya ng showbiz. At isa raw ito sa mga katangiang taglay ni Jelly de Belen. We have seen her in dramatic roles as a serious actress. Look, no one can replace you in my heart. Lagi kita tatilihin. Deliver some funny punchlines as a comedian. Co-hosting and discuss about a lot of things on TV. Susubukan ang galing ng ating pagtatambaling tall and not so tall. And even did some dancing and some singing on the side. Noon yata, hindi naman niya talaga gustong maging artista eh. Kaya daw siya nag-artista. Kaya niya ginusto mag-artista. Gusto niya magkaroon ng pera na sarili niya. <laughs> Nasa katawan na niya yung passion eh. So mahal na niya talaga yung trabaho niya. So nakikita mo yung... Um, natural sa kanya yung pagiging artista. Bukod sa pagiging magaling na artista, isa rin daw sa mga katangi ang meron si Jelly ay ang galing sa pakikisama. Mapako-star ka man o katrabaho sa likod ng camera. What you see is what you get in Jelly. Yeah, kung ano yung personal, that's how she is. She's really like a natural comedian. Even like as a person. Eh, Siyempre on screen, komedyante na nga siya. But she's also like that. Uh, behind camera, bubuka pa lang ang bibig ni Jelly na tatawa na ako. Kasi she's really one girl who doesn't really care. She's not so conscious kung kailangan ba that kailangan ba na super super beautiful siya or super ganito siya. She's so real. She's so real as a person. Kasi si Jelly walang ano eh. Walang, walang arte na tao. Uh, mukha siyang social pero uh, she's easy to easy to get along with easy to like MJ oh nagpalita parang may paalan J okay K K L K M K N kay pa hanggang Z pare pareho kayo mga lalaki Actually, sa unang dating, parang ang suplada ni Ms. Jelly. Hihipis. <laughs> Kasi very serious siya minsan eh. Pag, syempre, siguro, yun talaga siya yung, pag hindi kanya kilala, hindi siya yung tipong chupin-chika ng bongga. But, um, what's nice is, hindi mo feel na iba ka. Pakitang-kita mo yung magandang ipi niyan kasi lagi na ang eh. Lagi nakatawa. Tsaka mahilig sa kwentuhan. Ang sarap kasama niya, naaalagaan ka niya. Pagdating mo, ay, alika dito, ayusin natin yung makeup mo. Pag hindi maganda yung makeup mo, pagkulang ka ng eyeliner, ng kilay, aayusin niya ng bongga. Siya talaga, tas, siya ba yung magpa-black ng kilay mo? Promise! Ganun siya ka, ka bongga. Talagang so, sobra, sobrang, sobrang bait niya. Ibang, 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 iba si Jelly. Eto, taas ng tingin ko sa kanya. Promise. Hindi siya, hindi, pag stop ka lang, pag stop ka lang, hindi siya yung tipo stop ka lang, ganyan, hindi. Aside from her talents and her personality, what a lot of people admire about Jelly is her heart that is willing to share not only her talents and her blessings, but even her own blood. Meron siyang rare blood type, RH negative, type A. So because of that, na-advise na siya ng doctor na kailangan niya ng standby blood. At ang Red Cross, through Governor Rosa Rosal naman, ay quickly nag-produce ng blood para kay Miss Jerry de Belen. So after nung kanyang panganak, uh, sinuklian niya yung um, tulong na ibigay sa kanya ng Red Cross at yung mga, at nag, yung mga nag-donate ng dugo no, through the Philippine Red Cross by becoming um, one of our blood donors. So, at naging blood galoner siya. Ibig sabihin, galon, galon na ng dugo ang nabigay ni Jelly sa mga tao na nangailangan ng dugo na RH negative. Through the years, Jelly has become an artist who has earned the love and respect of the people around her, which no doubt she deserves. We do love, we love our careers, no? Para hindi kami, uh, wala kaming sinisika, parang wala kaming ina, ano, uh, ina. inahangad pa. Kasi sa amin, feeling namin, napakaswerte na namin dalawa to be in this business, to be doing what we're doing, and uh, get paid for it. So, napakaswerte na namin. Siyempre, I'm really, truly happy for, for Jelly. Oy, kasi sa si Jelly naman, 
I'm always happy for whatever success that my sister has. Ang taray naman nun! Natouch naman ako dun. Ang galing nyo. Ang dami nyo nakuha. Surprise talaga. Yung sa Red Cross, I wanna get into that. Um, what's your blood type? And how rare is it to have that type of blood? Uh, my blood type is A negative. Mm -hmm. uh, there's about... Less than 1% in the Philippines that has uh, RH negative blood. Wow. It's an RH fa factor in our blood. Usually, kasi ang uh, positive, A positive, B positive. Nagkataon, hindi ko man alam kung paano nangyari ito na ako ay naging A negative. Isa ka doon sa less than 1% in the Philippines. So, what made you decide to donate blood? At naging galoner ka para? O ibig sabihin, galon-galon ng blood na dinonate mo? Well, mainly because, um, even before I got pregnant, I was... Uh, Basta interesado ako nung bata pa ako, malaman ko anong blood type ko, ayaw ko naman kung bakit. Mm -hmm. And then when I found out, sinabi nila, oh, your blood type, is, blood type is A negative. Of course, being so young, I, hindi ko pinansin. Hindi alam mo. And then one time I, wa I was watching TV, tapos sinabi na, there's this person who needs blood. A negative. Sabi ko, ay, yun ang blood type ko. Eh, hindi siya maoperahan hanggat hindi niya maanuhan yung, yung dugo, no? So, nag-donate ako. Wow. And then, since then, parang nalaman nila na A negative nga ang dugo ko. When I gave, when I was pregnant with my two boys, well, with my first son, sabi nila na parang, you need to get Rogam shots so that your baby will survive kasi baka makontaminate yung dugo. Because my, kung ang blood type niya ay positive at ako ay negative, hindi sila swak. So, ikaw naman na nangailangan. Ako na nangailangan. So, after that, uh, even with my second son, it, son, it happened. Hanggang sa, regularly, nagdo-donate na ako ng dugo. Wow. Kasi I know the importance because I almost died mm -hmm. giving birth to my second son. So, syempre, alam ko na importante ang dugo. Minsan, yes. nakakalimutan natin lahat na importante talaga ang magbigay ng dugo. Wala pong mangyayari sa inyo, hindi kayo magkakasakit. All you need to do, to do is go to Red Cross and then donate. Sandali lang yan, wala at pang isang oras. Oh, oh. At importante rin alamin natin kung anong blood type natin. Yes. Baka makatulong tayo sa mga taong nangailangan. Okay, now let's talk about your career. Okay, career. Kasi, <laughs> sinabi kanina doon na versatility, and it, it, totoo naman, mapadrama, mapakomedy, talagang Jelly de Belen can rise above it, di ba? Do you miss doing drama? Kasi recently, we've been seeing you all the happy shows, more upbeat shows. Dito ba sa Bantatay, makikita namin ang dramatic side mo naman? Um, dr uh, well, hindi kasi masyadong serious ang Bantatay. Actually, I just finished with Panday Kids a few months back. Medyo doon pa ako talaga nag-drama. Okay. So here in Bantatay, it's uh, medyo light ng konti, pero may drama mm -hmm. pa rin. Mm -hmm. How would you, uh, ano, yung difference ng comedy sa drama? Anong mas type mo? Anong mas okay sa'yo? Um, depende pa rin sa role. Mm -hmm. Uh, sa comedy kasi, ang mahirap yung timing at saka, I find, that it's, ah. I find it's harder to make people laugh than to make them cry. Kasi feeling ko para pag, pag umiyak ka, may iyak na rin sila mm. as long as you know, touching yung moment. So, it, it depends on the role, it depends on the situation talaga. Pero isang magaling na actress lang ang kayang gawin both. And you, you're one of those actresses that can certainly do both. Ilan, ilan taon na ba ako? At nangyayari na ito. <laughs> Pero ikaw, after all the achievements, what would you consider is your greatest achievement so far? I would think uh, being a wife and a mom, yung, that is my greatest achievement. Because at the end of the day, uh, kay ginawa mo to, kay nagka-award ka nito, kay sumikat ka for that, at the end of the day, pag uwi mo, sinong kasama mo? Sinong kasama ko sa bahay? Sinong, bago ako matulog, pag isi ko sa umaga, sinong kasama ko? Di pamilya ko, di ba? Mm -hmm. Yun ang totoong success. At yun ang babalikan natin ngayon. She may be one of the best in the industry. Pero mga kapusa, hindi lang daw siya sa pagiging artista magaling, kung hindi rin pati sa pagiging kaibigan, asawa at ina. Let's watch this. A lot of us got used to calling her Sis Jelly, but a closer look at her life will reveal that she can be called a lot of things aside from being a sis. When I graduated from culinary, she was there. She was there. She was there. Yay! Alam mo, si Jelly, cheerleader yan. Isang cheerleader yan talaga. Mapaanak niya, mapaasawa niya, mapaanak ko, mapa mami ko, daddy ko, akin. Cheerleader yan talaga. Yeah! Gawa <laughs> ganun talaga yan. That's why alam mo na sa pamilya namin, you may not see us always together. You may not always see us na parang parating magkadikit, parating magka... Pero 
know we are always there to support each other. Kasi si Jenny can be a mother to everybody, even if she's, I mean, you know, you don't see her that way, but how she is to her children now, she's been that way even amongst friends. Even when she wasn't married yet, she's the type of person na very motherly talaga. Yung masusumbungan mo, madakdak lang yan. Pero sa totoong buhay, kapag namumblema ka na, quiet lang siya. Um, aantayin kang, aantayin ka nang mag-open up ka sa kanya. Hindi siya yung mamimilit na, ano nga, ano nga problema, bakit ba ganyan, yung ganyan, ganyan. Hindi. Um, as a friend, isa siyang fair na nakaibigan. Pag, pag meron akong problema na sobrang seryoso, si Jenny ang tatawagan ko. Pero kapag meron akong kalokohan na gustong gawin, hindi si Jelly. Kasi bakit? Si Jelly kasi hindi consentidor. Gusto niya, ang gusto niya, pag kami mali ka, umamin ka sa akin na mali mo and you have to be sorry for what you did. She's very nurturing, caring, loving. Siguro ang masasabi ko, Ako ang isa sa pinakamaswerte dito sa mundo ng industriya natin na meron akong isang Jelly de Belen na kaibigan. Ang maganda naman kasi kay Jelly, when you ask her something, when you ask her opinion on something, she will tell you the truth. She will not tell you what you want to hear. Uh, tunay siya na kaibigan talaga in that sense. But even Jelly's friends would agree that nothing can top the love and care that she can give kapag pamilya na niya ang pinag-uusapan. You know, Jelly's a very loving wife because naman siguro si Ariel kasi is a very loving husband also so they complement each other. As a wife, uh, masikaso, uh, very thoughtful, always thinking about um, ano kakain ko sa breakfast, uh, kung pagod na ako, she's very, very thoughtful. Yeah. Para sa akin nga, siya na nga yung best friend ko. Para sa akin, isa rin siya sa mga best moms dito sa industry kasi kaya niyang pagsabayin ng pag-artista at the same time pagiging isang napakahusay at napakagaling na mami. Kahit na naka-outfit na yan, naka-hair and makeup na yan, naka, naka todo na, minsan naka-gown, pag kinakailangan ng mga anak niya talagang asikasuhin, gagawin niya yun. She doesn't care kung ano man ang ano ba sa... Kailangan maramdaman ng mga, ng mga anak niya yung pangangailangan. Kasi hodang anong gagawin niya, she will drop everything for her family. That's what Jelly is. Yung buhay, yung buhay actually ni Jelly, pamilya lang niya. Ah, uh, yeah, she can be emotional, no? Uh, when you talk about family, when you talk about children growing up, when you talk about her going to Canada, well, the plan that they have, Malam mo malungkot because you'll be away from your family. But then, remember, she also has a family of her own. Diba? Kung saan yung pamilya niya, dapat doon siya. Um, yun, naman yung, yun naman yung parating binibilin sa amin ng mga magulang namin noon. Eh. Kung saan kayo ng pamilya niyo, kung saan yung gusto, dapat doon kayo kasi yun ang pamilya niyo.